Welcome to another RDWorks Learning Lab. I'm sitting here in the office today and I plan to do absolutely nothing. This has got nothing to do with the existing series that I'm looking at with lenses and various things. I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction today to something that's been in my mind for a long time. And I've been working on it in the background, but I really never decided how I was actually going to ever do anything with this project. Anybody that's watched the RD Works Learning Series know that it's probably a bit like watching grass grow. It's taken me six years to gain my knowledge and experience of this technology. Although it's all there to be seen and shared, it isn't very concise. So I've already started several times on producing some videos that try and encapsulate some of the learning that I've done into a much more condensed format. Now look, even my son recognises that I'm getting old and very forgetful because he's bought me a self-warming electronic cup that will link to my phone if I really want to let it know about my age and all my old girlfriends and things like that. But forgetfulness comes in and I let my coffee get cold. That will never happen again because I just plonk it on my little stand and it's always hot. Just drinking temperature whenever I need it. Now, as a birthday present, it reminded me that I'm not getting any younger. And that this little project that's been bubbling along in the background without a vehicle to make it happen, just something that I felt sure I had to do, um, all of a sudden it put it into top gear and decided that I really ought to look at ways in which I could pass on the benefit of my experience in a very condensed format. Now, like many things in my life, luck is something that, does it happen? Or do you work at it? I can't tell you but I've been very lucky. You know, I never intended to have an RD Works learning series with thousands of people looking over it and saying, yeah, I've done a great job. I've taught them a lot. No, this was a very selfish project for me. I was the one that was learning and I was the person that enjoyed video and video editing. And I just published them because it was something very selfish for me to do. The fact that it's grown into something else was a side benefit. And don't get me wrong, I greatly appreciate it and I enjoy helping people. But that wasn't the original intention. But this has got a specific intention now of trying to share my knowledge with as many people as possible. How was I going to be able to do that? Because I haven't even finished the series yet. It just so happens that I can go back four or five years when I became very friendly with the guys at Think Laser. You've all seen my light blade machine. It's a superb, reliable piece of kit. I use it every day. But one of the guys that I came across there was their marketing manager, um, who basically introduced me to the Think Laser product and supported me throughout the venture. And we obviously have a, a Think Laser series of videos associated with that machine. He's since moved on to Pastures New. And he approached me a few weeks ago and said, look, you know, I know you were going to do this A to Z of laces or, you know, laser machines for idiots or whatever I was going to call it. I'd be interested in hosting it on a website that I'm just about to set up. Who knows what I was going to do with it? I hadn't planned any outlet for it. Being the lazy person that I am, I don't really want to get involved with putting this stuff on a website and hosting it or doing anything else like that. So. It was a very easy option for me to say to him, yeah, OK, here they are. You do something with them. And so basically that's what I've done. My condensed laser knowledge is now going to be passed through an outlet that Gareth, the guy that I was speaking of, will be hosting and dealing with. Not only will he be hosting this new series, if you like, I think you'll be able to get all the old stuff and the Think Laser stuff and all the stuff from Lightburn. He's producing a website which brings everything laser related together into one place for people that want to learn or understand or are new users of lasers. So there is the website that you should go and visit. 
I was going to call it something like laser learning for idiots and experts or Chinese Lasers 101, but Gareth has chosen a very nice inoffensive title for the series. I can urge you to go and look and explore and I'll leave the rest to you. If you want to pass the information on to other newbies, I'm sure Gareth will be appreciative. It makes no difference to me. I'm getting no monetary gain from it. I'm getting no kudos from it. I'm just putting in the hard work of compressing all my knowledge into still quite a few videos. They won't be lengthy drawn out videos. Most of them are half an hour or less. Now I'm having nothing to do with the running of the website. I'm sure that Gareth might pass some questions on to me. Although the subject matter remains old, the view of them is completely fresh. I'm not re-editing old videos. All I can say is thank you very much for your attention and I do hope that some of the stuff that I'm showing you will do what the title says, shine some old light through new windows.